Hi, good morning. Today we are going to see a ratio related problem and we first we are going to solve it using the model method followed by the algebraic method. Let's go with the model method first. The question is the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in a hall was 3 is to 2 at first. After 30 boys left the hall, the ratio became 2 is to 3. How many boys were there in the hall at first? It's clearly, we can see that it's a ratio problem, number one. Number two that we can observe is that it says initially there were some boys and girls in the ratio 3 is to 2 and 30 boys left the hall, then the ratio changed to 2 is to 3. That means the girls, there were no girls leaving the hall or entering the hall, which means before and after conditions, you will find that the number of girls remains the same. So that's our clue. We will first map this out, these uh, uh, ratios, boys is to girls. So the before ratio or at the beginning, it was 3 is to 2. And then we map out the change for the boys they lost 30 of them because 30 boys left the classroom and girls there is no change and after 30 boys left the class the ratio of the boys to girls became 2 is to 3 so now what we can do is we can represent the same thing using models 3 is to 2 we are representing this is boys and this is girls right and for the after condition it's the ratio is 2 is to 3 so we have represented here but just take note that the unit size here will may not be the same as the unit size here but one thing we know is that this whatever this unit and these units they may be of different sizes but they represent the same number of girls. So the girls, number of girls represented by the two units here is the same as the number of girls represented by the three units here. That's why you can see that the total size here of these two are the same. Although the unit size are different, the total size is the same. So now with this, because the unit sizes are not the same, although the total is the same, the unit sizes are not the same and so we cannot compare them. So if you want to compare uh, these two units, we need to convert them to units of the same size. Right? How can we convert it? For example, this is 2 and this is 3. If I am to uh, divide this into three units here and three units here it will become total of six units and here I divide each into half right two of them sorry each into two uh, units again I'll get six units then I can make them to be the same so this is where we use LCM or the lowest common multiple to get the number of units that we need to finally arrive at so here for this 2 and 3, the LCM is 6. So here I am saying 2 times 3, meaning that each of these units, I am going to divide them into 3 smaller units of the same size. Again here, 3 times 2, meaning each of the units that we have here, I am going to divide them into 2 smaller units. The same, the what, when I say times 3, it goes for both of these, both the boys and the girls, whatever ratio is being represented. So, when I say times 3, here we have divided into, into 3 smaller units. Here we have divided into 2 smaller units. So, we can do the same for the rest as well. So, we can see that here 6 units, 6 units is the same. But what happens here is that there is a difference. 
here you have four units here you have three times three nine units here right so nine units minus four units that is the difference here this is equal to five units and this five units is reduced here because 30 students left the class so that five unit represents 30 boys or 30 students so we can say how much is one unit one unit represents 30 by 15 or 30 divided by 15 six boys so one unit is equal to six boys now we go to the question the question asks how many boys were there in the hall at first so we can see that at first meaning this and the unit here refers to the new smaller unit size there are nine units here and each unit is six so nine units is equal to nine times six fifty four boys so this is uh, I hope that this was easy to understand uh, the problem itself is easy the key the only thing that we need to uh, identify is you know there will be some quantities that doesn't change in this case the number of girls did not change so we could use them as reference find the LCM convert them into equal sized units when you convert e them into equal size units we can really figure out how many units are missing here and that way we can solve this issue hope everybody understood so now we move on to the algebraic method of doing this problem if you like the model method very much and you don't want to know the algebraic method you can just skip here or if you want to explore the algebraic method please continue the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in a hall was 3 is to 2 at first after 30 boys left the hall the ratio became 2 is to 3 how many boys were there in the hall at first so what we are going to do is at first write down the ratio for ratio for the boys is to girls so at first or before the ratio was 3 is to 2 then what happened 30 boys left the hall so minus 30 here for as far as the change is concerned for the girls there is no change the after condition is 2 is to 3 right so when you look at this you clearly uh, understand that there is no change in the number of girls population in the class now we are going to convert this in a way as to how we would write it if it was uh, done using algebraic method so instead of 3 is to 2 we would just say 3x is to 2x and the, this whatever value of x x could be let's say 1 2 3 4 5 let's say if it is 5 5 times 3 15 that will be the total number of boys here minus 30 is the change and you are ending up with 2y is to 3y the color is black here it does not represent anything that was just my mistake so um, just ignore that now we can write these as equations because this is the total number of boys they were in the class at first 30 boys left and then the remaining was 2y number of boys so that is going to be our first equation 3x minus 30 equals 2y the second equation is 2x there nothing happened no change is equal to 3y because these two are the same so 2x is equal to 3y so these are the two equations that we have simultaneous equations solving simultaneous equations one way one simple way of doing it for me here is to make these two the same these two quantities the same so I could just times 3 the whole of this equation and times 2 the whole of this equation you know that when I'm when we multiply a number to both the left hand side and the right hand side the equality condition is not disturbed as and so it's acceptable to do that so this becomes 3 times 3x which is 9x minus 3 times 30 is 90 is equal to 3 times 2 6y 
Now when we do this here, we get 4x is equal to 6y. So we can see that here 6y, here 6y. And which means that this 9x minus 90 is equal to 6y, which is equal to 4x. So we can equate these two left hand sides of the equations. Let's write that down. 9x minus 90 equals 4x. That's here. So I can bring the 4x to this side of the equation or in other words, we can subtract 4x from both sides, which means this side the 4x will get cancelled out and add 90 to both sides, meaning this 90 will get cancelled out. There will be plus 90 here. So 9x minus 4x equals 90. The other way of looking at is 4x when you move over here it will become minus 4x minus 90 when you move over to the right hand side it will become 90. So this is 5x equals 90 so x is equal to 18. So again what is the question here how many boys were there in the hall at first? At first there were 3x number of boys. So number of boys in the hall at first is equal to 3x. So 3x can be written as 3 times 18 is equal to 54. So number of boys in the hall at first is equal to 54. So this is the algebraic way of solving the problem. And I hope uh, this was useful. So go ahead and uh, if you really find it useful, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you like and click the bell icon so that you can receive uh, regular updates from me. Thank you. Have a great day.